kind master one year later was it worth it well what i'm about to tell you in this video may surprise you First, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Drone Guru by clicking this icon right down here if you want to stay updated with reviews and tips for tech and filming. So it's been a year now, actually a little over a year since I started using KineMaster and I was really surprised at what I learned uh, over this past year creating content with this app. Um, I didn't want to spend hours and hours learning how to use a software program. I just wanted to produce content and that's what I did. One thing that surprised me was when I got the subscription, it worked on all my devices as long as I had that email logged into that device. And that was really handy, especially when I had to get a new phone one time and then I got a tablet and all that, but it's all right there. Let me get into it at how it works, but first, Take a look at these quick, short intro clips I made using this app because I didn't think I'd be able to do this, but take a quick look. It was all made using basic effects that the app offers and you'll see right here for yourself. Okay, as you saw there, um, I thought, at least myself, that those were fairly professional, especially the first one. And each one took me 20 to 30 minutes to make. That was it. So, yeah, the possibilities are endless. I don't really even use very many fancy effects. All the content, all the videos you see on this channel, Drone Guru, are uh, made with KineMaster. So, Let's get into it right here at what you can do with the app. This was so easy to learn how to use. I didn't have to watch a single tutorial on the internet or read anything for using this app. That's really rare for video editing software. Usually you gotta spend a lot of time um, trying to figure out how to use the program. First, I'll start here at media. Putting media in is really simple and easy. You just take it directly from the device. I record all this video on my phone, so that just makes it really quick and simple. <clears throat> It'll automatically convert video if the resolution is too high, it doesn't take very long. Um, and you have to select OK to do that. You get to keep your original footage. It just creates converted footage that it uses in the app. So. You know, nothing you, anything you put in here, it won't harm any original footage you have. Um, putting images in, text, all that can be done with the layering option. This is probably one of my favorite parts is the ability to put good quality text in here and it looks so professional. It gives you so many different fonts. You can use all the effects. You can use effects on anything actually, even if you put in just a picture, video, Right now I'm putting a little video in the corner of the screen of me talking while I show you what's going on in the app. Um, it's also really easy to create illustrations using the handwriting tool, uh, boxes, squares, circles, um, outlining things, arrows. I use that all the time to create a good visual representation of what I'm trying to explain in a video. Um, so yeah, layering so many different possibilities there. That's what I mostly use for those intros, was just playing around with different effects, layering objects that I drew on there or text. Um, let's get to the voice narrating. It's so simple, you just click here, start recording. You can just do that through your device or you can plug in an external microphone, which I'm doing right here. but I've started doing that since I got this microphone. Check out the video on that if you haven't, but I uh, just plug it in, start recording the voice, and I narrate right over, it sounds clean. So that is something that really impressed me that you can just plug in an external mic 
start recording video on a device, no settings necessary, special settings I mean. Uh, putting music in, that's really nice too. I just download music from YouTube Audio Library. I go here to the audio section, look for the music, um, put it in, trim it, whatever, raise or decrease the volume. That is really nice, but here's the the uh, most impressive thing I've discovered about these effects tools in the editing part of the program is the ability to use the volume envelope to uh, take little sections of the volume. You can do it in a clip or just a, uh, like a video clip or in the audio clip and I can adjust that to remove something if I maybe jumbled my words. I just edit that out like this, or I can raise the volume like that, and that is awesome. You won't think that right now, but that will save you so much time. You don't have to re-record anything. Um, you can make things sound better. You can bring some emotion into the audio or the music. That is such a nice tool to use. So that's pretty much it for basics of actually editing the video. Uh, there's so many more effects you can use. Everything that I've done now is just so basic, but I've been so pleased with it. Finally, uh, here is the rendering of the video. You can go straight to social media or just save to your phone. You can decide which resolution you render in, and you can change the bitrate by just clicking up here in the right-hand corner. This is such, I mean, this just gives you so much flexibility with the quality of the actual video file and the amount of space it takes up. And it's so quick. It does not take hours to render like a computer would. Um, it just, it's done in just a few minutes, usually for me. So that being said, I was planning on at this point purchasing a professional video editing software program buying a hard drive, all that. Now it's gonna cost me a lot of money. This really surprised me and I think this will surprise you too. I actually decided to just renew my subscription to KindMaster and uh, just keep using that for now. I'm using this app to create footage. Since I saved so much money, I even got a drone with that money that I saved. And uh, you just can't go wrong with that. Saying that, uh, is all coming from an honest review on this app. I'm not getting paid for this review right now. Uh, I, I, I looked, I'll be honest, I looked to see like, hey, maybe I could become an affiliate for KindMaster, you know, like get a little kickback because I, I've used, I use it so much. Like there's so much information I can give you on this app, um, but they don't offer that. This is just an honest review, so that's really what it came down to after a year and i am so impressed i'm learning new things every time i use it you know it just was so easy and the goal was to get the footage done as quickly and professionally as possible finding that balance and this app is just what i wanted all the other apps i looked at and tried were not very good to be honest this one like it really delivered and I highly recommend it. Just try it out for free. All there is is a watermark, maybe a few less effects if you don't want to pay right away. It's only $49.99, like 50 bucks for a year. That was well worth it, let me tell you. You know, that's like going out to eat at a restaurant with your significant other or your friend, you know, having a few drinks and some food. Like that's how much it cost for a whole year. Well worth the money. I got so much content put out because of it. Please subscribe to Drone Guru by clicking this icon right down here. That's all I have today. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.